Welcome back to Broken Barbie TV. I'm Gypsy. Today I have a spectacular review for you. As you can see, some of my Integrity dolls are just chilling back here. Except for Vraymon over there with them glasses. He just, he just want to be all up in the video, that's all. First I want to show you this card, which is where I ordered my doll from because I could not find this doll anywhere for a reasonable price. He was like sold out at Integrity and ah uh, gosh you guys already know what it is with buying dolls from like the third party market it is not a game okay so this doll highly sought after this is one of the new uh, integrity toys guy dolls from the industry line and this line is supposed to depict characters that are supposed to be part of the uh, movie industry so he's one of those back of the box it says industry by integrity toys limited edition high fashion doll and we've got some more writing down here that just gives you a little bit of information okay so it's very simple to open you just pull the top away from the bottom part that's it it's a sleek gray box and look at this beauteousness. Oh my lord. There's this little, I don't know, it almost looks like a huge poster in doll scale. <laughs> like I would, I would literally put this up on a wall in a doll room as like a portrait or a big painting or something. Just this artwork, it's beautiful. So that's the picture of my guy. And this is the industry Believe the Hype Tate Tanaka. And I'm supposing he's supposed to be like a Japanese dude. That's the ethnicity he's supposed to be representing. So let's just open this up so we can see what's underneath here. Let's see, is this like cardboard or yeah, some kind of paperboard? And oh, it's a little insert. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. Oh my god, he's gorgeous. What? Okay, holy moly, I am officially blown away. Wow, I don't really know where to start with him. Um, hmm. So he's got this bright pink cardboard um, insert that he is tied down to with ribbon. And we're just gonna scroll down a little bit so you guys can get the full effect of what I'm seeing here. There's his midsection. He's got some accessories in there. And right here, where it says industry accessories, this is his little drawer that's going to have all his accessories in it. And right there, his little feet. So cute. Oh my gosh. So we're going to pull everything out of here. And if you haven't done so yet, don't miss my previous integrity toy review that I had put up of this guy in the background um, he's the sonic rainboom heart MLP dude um, yeah the significance of these guys in my collection though is that I have no boy integrity toys dolls and these two are the first to pioneer that part of my collection and they are also the first Integrity Toys dolls that I purchased with my own money, so to speak. Um, it's Adonis's money, but you know what I'm saying. Um, the other people here in the background, the girls that you see, are all gifts from my lovely subscribers, you guys, who sent them to me. So that is the significance of these dolls. And my girls were getting lonely, so I had to get them some boys to hang out with. You know what I'm saying? Equal opportunity. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, Chorianga. Let's pull out the accessory drawer right quick. So we can see what's going on in there. The way that they package their dolls, they do it in such a way that you don't have to destroy the box to get your dolls out. And so that way you can preserve the boxes for later use if you decide to re 
uh, re-display your dolls or repack them in their boxes for whatever reason. So I'm struggling to pull this out because I'm slow like that. In here, ooh, wow, it's full of little goodies. We've got an iPad and it is heavy, you guys. Whoa, look at this thing. It doesn't seem like it's made of plastic because of the weight that I'm feeling here. Uh, it says T-pad, haha. <laughs> um, yeah, it's quite heavy. I think this is made out of metal. So that is freaking crazy. And then we've got a second pair of hands. One of my favorite things about um, the Integrity Toys dolls as they come new is that they usually have a second pair of hands you can switch. And then these teeny tiny little accessories. He's got silver earring studs. He's got a ring. Look at that big ass ring. He's got a watch, and they are just crazy with these watches. They're so realistic, oh my goodness. And glasses, some sunglasses with real hinges. The glasses, I've realized from looking at the pair that my other guy came with, Sonic over there, um, they're not plastic. These things are made of like metal. It's something that has weight. So that's just crazy, you guys. All this freaking detail in the Integrity Toy stuff. And while I'm here, let me show you. He also comes with a pair of shoes, and we'll look at the details of that, the shoes when I pull them out. And a bag. So here is the bag. It's got shoe prints all over it, which is pretty cool looking, I think. And it's got an adjustable strap that can go over his shoulder. Love that. And it's got two handles, so you can hold it in his hand, and it looks like it has a working zipper. Look at this, it's got an actual lining on the inside, which is customary for all Integrity Toys bags, they do that. And then it also has a, a luggage tag, how cute is this? And he can fit all of his accessories into the bag, of course not with cardboard, he's not gonna carry cardboard around, but once you take everything out of there, you'll see that there's enough space for all of his accessories to fit, then you can close it right back up. What? That is H-O-T, my friend. So now, to get him out of here, we're gonna have to remove this pink insert away from the bottom of the box and the reason why is because in here he's got a COA and it feels thick it's not paper like how Barbie does it and he's number 550 of 600 dolls so they're limited edition most integrity toys dolls are We've got right here, tucked in this corner, the parts of his doll stand. So this is why we needed to pull the insert out because this is where they hide all of the stand stuff and also that's where the ribbons come undone to free your doll from the box. No plastic cable ties and tabs that you have to rip or cut to get your dolls out. It's very, very collector friendly so that you can easily replace your dolls into the box and preserve your box. If you are one of those kinds of collectors who likes to keep all of that stuff intact, it's definitely made for the collector, I'll tell you that much. And then here's the bottom of his doll stand. Okay, you guys, I've got all his accessories on him, and we're going to take a look at everything in detail, but can we just take a moment to appreciate the level of sheer artistry that has gone into this doll? Oh my gosh, it's just ridiculous. Just purely out of the box without doing anything else to him, I cannot say that I own any other brand of dolls with this type of work 
put into the product. These designers are authentically concerned with what the consumer or the collector is looking for in their fashion figures. I can absolutely get that appreciation just looking at him. I mean, straight out of the box, okay? Like, he's ready to go, ready to be, um, he's ready to be displayed. He's magnificent without doing anything to him. <laughs> There's no customization here. There is no adjustments here. I mean, purely out of the box. He's beautiful. Let's look at this stand. Okay, so his stand is a little strange looking. Uh, it's two pieces. It comes as two pieces actually, but it does have this part here that's inserted that is like, basically is a saddle stand. And it's made so you can adjust the height level uh, for your doll. So for him, I basically just pulled it up a little bit from where it was set. And you kind of have to do it with your doll already positioned over it. And then it just kind of holds him up at the crotch. To be honest, this, this stand seems a little bit more secure than the other one that I had for the Heart MLP collection. This one looks nice, but it's not as functional as this stand. So that's the first thing. And the stand itself is very um, weighted and it says industry on it and it's got the, the lines and the logo or whatever for that particular line. So I like the stand. It's black. It's, it's sleek. It goes with everything and I think it's very, um, it's not distracting from the doll so I like it. And We've got these accessories on him. He's got sunglasses, and the glasses are absolutely amazing. They're, you gotta kinda be careful with these things because they're very tight. Okay, so the glasses, definitely not plastic, you guys. They're made of metal, and they have hinges on them, so you can close them up. Definitely quality piece of accessory here, and I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. Next, he's got his tiny little T-pad, which is supposed to be an iPad. This thing is a pretty good size, you guys. The back is gold, and it's got a pear symbol on it. And I don't know if you can tell, but see, this thing is metal. It's not plastic very like like smooth and cold <laughs> to the touch compared to his hand this is how big it is so it's definitely too big to be a phone see nah and then he came with this bag which I already showed you guys I'll take that off of him this is where his accessories can go he also came with a second pair of hands and these hands are shaped in a way that they are more ready for like gripping things. Gripping or kind of like, I don't know, just more expressive I guess. So you would use this pair of hands to do something like this. Where he would be holding something in his hands. And you can hold it easier. But these are great for those of you who like to photograph your dolls. And the earrings look like this. They're just studs. Very simple. They're plain silver studs. And they're round. And you just pull them like that and push them in like that. And they're made like actual earrings like that people wear. And then, of course, he's got wristwatch. And that is kind of cool. It has like an iridescent pearly white band. That's neat. And it doesn't actually open so it's going to stay on once you put it on. 
you have to take his hands off in order to take, put it on and off. And he's wearing a ring that he came with as well. The ring fits on almost all his fingers. Um, but I put it on this one because this finger seemed like the biggest and I pushed it down as far as I could to really like lodge it in place so that it doesn't easily fall off. So he's got a really interesting head sculpt. He's supposed to be depicting a Japanese guy. His skin color is really pale. He's very, very light and almost vampire-ish. <laughs> I love the features of his full lips. The lips are so juicy. And he's got a really simple screening on his face, but it does the job because the mold itself is so beautiful that they don't really have to make the doll's face up too much to bring out those features. Got those high cheekbones, just really great work. Now, I am noticing that his hair uh, is part flocking and part rooted hair. Now the issue here is that the hair has a ton of gel in it and to get the style that I've seen in his promo shots and even in this picture um, that came on the box, see how the hair is like taller? It's kind of sticking up in the air a little bit more. You can't really get that effect here because his hair has been gelled down a little bit and it had the hairnet on it to cover it up um, to protect it from the fabrics. So that has kind of pressed his hair down. Now the issue is if you want to remove the gel to restyle it, most likely you're going to have to wet the hair. But that is a dangerous thing to do when you're messing with flocking because this stuff will just fall right off um, once it gets wet. So it's a little a bit of a challenge trying to figure out how to style his hair so that it's closer to the promo pictures. But it doesn't look bad the way that it is. It's just very stiff and gelled down. And as you can see, well, maybe you can't see. My camera's not picking it up well, but there's a space in between the underside of his hair and the actual flocking where there is just like a bald spot and because his scalp has been painted black it's totally unnoticeable unless you're really looking for it but again I mean I'm just pointing out those details you can see where the flocking starts and ends in his current hairstyle and I've got his jacket all zipped up and buttoned so I can show you that it has a very cozy Eskimo-ish type of look to it um, and you can get them all bundled up in there even with a shirt on underneath the zipper does work all the zippers on his jacket work these open and close but these pockets are not deep enough to actually put anything in there it's very very shallow pockets So this button you just undo by taking the clasp out and this clasp is just like the one on a bra. And then you can unzip it completely. Okay. And then we can open it to reveal the shirt he's got on underneath. And I want to show you guys the construction of this jacket. It is very well made. It's got, it's black and white. Let's look at this, it's like bubbly here. The feeling is like leather. It's like soft leather feeling. And the bottom is cropped. It's actually got elastic in there. It's built just like a real jacket. Look at that hood. Oh, it's perfect. Perfect. And it's got the faux fur here. It's soft and fuzzy. And I used to run a sneaker store that was like a hood sneaker store. And we used to carry leather jackets in the store that were really hot sellers. 
And so it was kind of my job to know the details of those clothing because that's how I would sell them. They were really expensive, like $500, $600. Some of them were like close to $1,000 a piece. So if you were to see something like this in a store for a human being, it would definitely be worth a few hundred dollars. The jacket has a full lining all the way through. Even this inside part is like a soft leathery material. Then it's got a collar. <laughs> That's the part that you button closed. And then the actual hood. It, it's, it's just amazing work. Now the only thing is getting the hood to actually relax. That's a little bit of a challenge. It's so tiny that the material isn't like weighted enough to stay down. So that will take some manipulating to get it to do that. But nonetheless, this is freaking dope. <laughs> He's wearing a long sleeve turtleneck shirt with black, gray, and silver details in the print. So the back of his shirt is very flat because the opening is almost unnoticeable. There are hooks in there keeping everything together, just like on his jacket. And then the pants themselves seem to be uh, like skinny jean style and it's made of this very shiny kind of fabric. So the pockets, I don't know if these actually like open completely because his pants are so tight that I couldn't possibly put anything in there. Um, I have to check when I take them off. He's got these little patches here at the knees. And he's got, he's got button details here. And I believe those are just snap. Yeah, they're like a snap button. Oh, and he's got an actual zipper in there. Whoa now, didn't expect that. Okay. And then he's got shoes that are super hard to tie because these laces are teeny tiny but I do have a fix for that I'm just I'm gonna worry about that off camera uh, his shoes are totally made of fabric this here is foam at the sole and then everything else is like leather and patent leather um, at least it looks like it but I don't know that it really is and then he's got some cloth fabric on the other side of his tongue and on the inside of his shoe but trust me it is amazing and then he's got these silver patent leather details up in the front by the toe just beautiful craftsmanship with this outfit beautiful I'm gonna take everything off of him so you guys can see his body alright so his hair was getting on my nerves a little bit I spruced it up a little um, to give it some life because it was just too stiff you have to be careful with these dolls because they have the the flocking and flocking will come right off if you get it wet so because it's just glued on so what I did was I wet a piece of paper towel and then I squeezed out the excess water and I just kinda like you know I just dabbed it over his hair to soften up the gel or the glue or whatever they got in here to keep it all stiff and so now his hair can move but that way it doesn't touch the actual flocking so his only the hair strands are getting wet and not dripping you know so that it doesn't make a big mess but that's what I did so that I can manipulate his hair a little bit more and I like it better uh, with some life in it than how it was he looks more Asian <laughs> that way um, uh, another thing is that with his clothes off I saw that his body parts had some some oops, some staining from his pants which is unfortunate but I think that ow, um, I, I had to take his feet off in order to take his pants off because they're so skinny I mean holy moly there was no way these were gonna come off without his feet being removed so I did need to do that but um, I have a remedy for staining on the body that I use I don't do it often because it's very time-consuming and I'm just an impatient person I don't like to wait for anything so I'll just kinda like 
leave my dolls that are stained out of sight for a while and then when I get in the mood to actually do the treatment I'll do like a whole bunch of them on in one day but right here it looks kind of purple it's got like little streaks here and that's all from his jeans the color coming off onto his vinyl so be aware of that if you purchase either this one or really any of them that have lighter complexion if they're wearing dark clothing inside the box it's very possible that they could be stained when you take them out I'm not really concerned with this level of staining on him because it's not on his face and it's not on parts of his body that would be very visible uh, even when he's dressed so I'm not that concerned and so it doesn't bother me but you know some of you guys who are like die-hard collectors might be really disappointed to see that that type of staining on your doll that you paid hundreds of dollars for um, for me I got him for about 175 bucks including the shipping which sounds ridiculous because the retail price for him was probably 130 when he first dropped but I really didn't have a choice. That was the cheapest that I could find him online at the time when I wanted to order him. And I'm satisfied with my purchase. So I just wanted to warn you guys, if you buy your dolls from third-party vendors, sometimes the prices do go up after the doll's been released. His body is structured very much like my Sonic Rain Boom guy. And he's got lots of joints and he's very muscular he's not muscular on an action figure level he's still very much a streamlined and his body is cut like a, a supermodel really um, but he still has you know like strength in his in the, in the shape of his body I guess and he does have the knee joints that bend and pivot they twist like that and he's got nail beds on his feet and he's actually wearing his other hands right now the second pair that he'd come with so you can see that they're a little bit more curved whereas the original hands are flatter okay my annoying neighbors are mowing their lawn or something so sorry if you guys are hearing any weird sounds in the background Look at all the detail in the fingers. It's very lovely. And he's got actual nails. Amazing. He seems like he would have black nail polish. Like he would wear black nail polish all the time. I might paint his, paint his nails black. He just has that kind of a feeling and look to me. But like I said, Tei Tanaka is supposed to be a Japanese dude. His character is based on another Tanaka character that Integrity has, who's supposed to be his grandmother. So he's like a new generation of Tanakas. But for my collection, I think I'm going to turn him into a Korean guy, because to me, his face looks really Korean. And, and in all honesty, sometimes Japanese people and Korean people, um, they look similar, so it's hard to tell them apart. And so he could definitely pass for both. I mean, he, he could probably pass for a Chinese guy too. But to me, I can just see the structure in his face that would look like a Korean person's. Um, he just gives me Korean drama character vibes. <laughs> so I think I'm going to make mine a Korean guy. I'm going to name him Jin after one of my favorite k-pop singers from the group Shinwa and that group is old so some of you guys probably don't even remember or know who I'm talking about but Chunjin was my favorite so I'm gonna name him after Chunjin because he is amazing and just for fun I tried his jacket out on my integrity girl Wailani here who is my Asian integrity girl doll He's supposed to be Polynesian. Look how different their complexions are. He's more like tan and he's very, very, very light. 
Um, in fact, let me see. Griselda is really pale too. I think, yeah, I think they're the same complexion. Him and Griselda are the same skin tone. So that's pretty neat. I like that. So, anyways, I put it on her, and it fits cute on her. It's a little oversized, but look at her hands are too. Sh her arms are too short; they can't come out of the <laughs> of the armholes. <laughs> but it does look cute on her, like she's wearing her boyfriend's clothes or something. And I don't know, maybe they should get together. And Wailani is swapped onto a made-to-move Barbie body, so her body type is just a lot smaller. So that might be why it doesn't fit on her as well. But I think Griselda has longer arms, so it might fit better on her. Anyways, follow us on Instagram so you guys can get day-to-day -day updates on what's going on with my doll collections. You can get pictures of the dolls redressed um, and any kind of developments that I make, like customizing techniques and stuff. Instagram is one of the first places where I post that kind of information. And of course, we've got other stuff going on on Instagram, just our personal lives and things that's happening in our everyday life. So if you want to hang out with us and talk to us, come to our Instagram live videos that's once a week. So you can absolutely get to know us better and interact with us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more fun dolly videos. Go ahead and check out Broken Barbie Show as well. That's our skit series where we upload videos of our dolls doing crazy stuff. Alright, the lawnmower guy is getting on my nerve really bad, so I gotta get out of here. Have a dolly day! What do you wanna do? Just stand here and argue. Toss these ugly words back and forth. I'm good, don't have another moment to invest Wanna dispute that it's headed down a road that ends